Apple, yeah. uh, largest position, which it's you still, just yeah. trimmed a little. I did. I went market weight. I was 300 basis points overweight. Today? Uh, last, on Friday. Okay. So basically, I mean, it's, <laughs> the story is still really great, um, but it's up 31% since April. And that's a really big move. And like every day, analysts are like climbing over themselves to raise targets and be positive. Whereas back in, in, the, in the spring, everybody hated it. And so to me, I think it's going to be really important to learn more about Gen AI, of course. Services, I think, are going to continue to grow 14% plus for the next couple of uh, quarters. Mm -hmm. um, and China, probably one last bad quarter, down 8%. China declined last quarter, probably the same. That all being said, you know, the stock has had a nice run, and I think it's just prudent. It's now 6.8% of my portfolio. It's still really big. I hear you. I mean, the latest report is that the, you know, these big AI initiatives are going to arrive a little later than anticipated, which our Steve Kovac, who covers this company, as all of you know, uh, has been following today as well. So w what do we know about this, and, and to what degree do we think it matters? I go back to when, you know, we were sitting at WWDC, and the stock has changed. Yeah a lot from that moment that we were sitting next to each other. Yeah, and Scott, that this is important because what's going on here with our artificial intelligence rollout at Apple is it's really tied to what people think the upgrade cycle of the next iPhone line will look like. So the report we're getting today is some of Apple intelligence features, that's what they're calling their AI features, aren't going to be ready when the new iPhone software launches in September. Instead, according to a Bloomberg report over the weekend, it's going to come in October. And to be clear, guys, this is not a delay. Apple said that AI is going to launch this fall or, quote, later this year in terms of the ChatGPT integration. Uh, but some caveats. We just don't know which AI features are going to launch first. It could be many months, even into next year, before everything they announced at WWDC is available on your iPhone. On top of that, it's only going to be in U.S. English at first. No clue yet when other languages and other countries are going to get it. That's especially important for China, which has strict regulations around artificial intelligence models. Apple would need approval there. We also heard Apple say it's not going to roll out in the European Union because of regulations there as well. And even with this months long rollout, many analysts are convinced this is going to drive iPhone upgrades for the iPhone 16 cycle. That's, of course, because you need last year's phone or better to use the AI features. And this morning, Bank of America analysts say iPhone upgrade cycle is going to, quote, remain strong for longer because of that measured rollout of artificial intelligence. That could even extend to next year's iPhone 17 in 2025 and beyond that, Scott. All right. I appreciate that, Steve Kovac. Thank you very much. So sounds to me um, like you just heard from Kovac himself, Jim, as you own the stock, too, that this is a, this is a whole lot of nothing mm. because the stock is not reacting to it at all either. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was down just a touch, I think, half a percent when it opened, and now it's, now it's flat. Although I think the question for me, and I own it, but I own it significantly under the market waiting, is whether all of the upgrade uh, cycle anticipation is already priced into the stock. I mean, remember, the stock's up, I want to say, about 25 percent off of the lows earlier this year, and a lot of that came on the back of the Worldwide Developer Conference mm -hmm. and the Apple intelligence announcement going into the phones. So clearly the market is anticipating, I mean, 25 percent on a, what, $3 trillion company, it's 750 billion. That's a lot of market cap that's anticipating one heck of an upgrade cycle. I, it's hard for me to get bullish beyond where we are now. I'm not bearish. I'm just neutral. It's beyond. It's below market weight. I'm not tempted to add at this it level. It felt like all of the gain came from the announcement at yes. WWDC and the and the buyback. I don't want to leave that aside. Well, the buyback as well. always yeah. has theoretically put a floor, well, as was, some would suggest, under, under the stock. Yeah. But they've they've always had a huge yes. Buy. Correct. They, they have. But I, I, look, I, I think Apple provides a unique opportunity relating uh, to AI. It's the first mega cap company that really can take AI and deliver a product that's in the consumer's hands. And I think that advances the story significantly if they're able to successfully do it, because now the consumer finally familiarizes itself with artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And had, instead of just hearing us talk about it on the network and saying, what is it really going to do for me? All right.